Hello and welcome to watercolour walkthrough looking at this image of Venice. This version is the fast speeded up time lapse version. For a fully explained version of this I'll put that in the information box below. Okay this is the equipment that I'm more than likely going to be using. These are my white night watercolour paints. I've also got some uh, white watercolour, Chinese white, uh, just in case I want to tint the colours. I may not use that. Uh, and my brushes, a wash brush and a couple of uh, pointed uh, quills for detailing another various bits and obviously I'm going to draw it out first so I'll need a pencil I may also need a rubber so that's everything apart from my water there so let's get on with it for the drawing section of this painting I've just used the ruler for that uh, section of the building I'm now in the um, background buildings one of the gondolas there's three gondolas in this painting so I'm putting the the water lining on the on the uh, buildings now, and uh, the next bit, uh, little fiddly bits of detail. Really, you don't really need to go into that much detail because you could paint all these things in. Right, we're ready for doing the painting, and I'm going to try and put a goldy yellow background in the sky and all the way through the uh, rest of the painting so it keys it all together and that's a really good thing to do with your painting i'm pulling out some of the sky now uh, so i can make a cloud as you can see I've, i'm moving now onto the actual color of the sky which is blue so it, it's doing exactly the same we're going to uh, do a lot of the area in blue so sky finished we'll need to do the reflective uh, surface of the water getting areas of the blue into the uh, foreground building and that will be mainly shaded areas because the, the blue will kind of uh, create shade move on to do the uh, reflection of the boat now and one of the tricks with this particular painting is keeping the blocking in of colours fairly basic. So I'm going to move on to a, a different area of the painting and I'm wanting some red now so that we can do uh, certain parts of uh, the buildings in the background. So I'm laying out some washy colour. It, while we're in the background painting, um, it needs to be very thin paint and very watered down. The uh, building to the far right of the painting is actually white, but what I want to do is, is create some interest in there and texture by adding a, a very light yellowy colour to it. Because it is a background area that and you don't want it to be overly dominant you want it to be obvious and you can actually see what it is but you don't want it to be uh, too strong this blue that I'm adding in will help to create the definition I'll add another layer of yellow to this section here and put some uh, reflection in at the same time I'm doing the tower now and I want one side of the tower a lot darker than what the other is and I'm not really doing an awful lot of detail as it's in the background detailing here and there and taking little bits out with the paper uh, the tissue paper and getting more and more layers into the background painting and building that uh, system of layers up and really trying to 
get as many layers on the side of the painting as we can and we've got little lines in there as parts of details and uh, pulling down the paint again so that that keys in with the uh, the building in the water back to the roof and we're darkening the sides again and it's it's a continuation of doing that and again I'm going back to the tower and putting some darker bits into that and I then move on to doing uh, some bits of the boats and uh, the one in the background is fairly dark you can't see an awful lot it's just a, a, a representation really a silhouette but the other middle boat has a lot more detail with it and uh, I wanted to make it a tiny bit lighter on one side of the boat because the man uh, rowing the boat is uh, quite dark so we needed to have some sort of separation and there's his punt or whatever it is and, uh, keep emphasizing that and we do then get on to doing the bits of detail in like the windows and you've got to be really careful about this not to overdo it and we're continuing on with uh, detailing work some people like to put absolutely every window and every section in and that's that's fine if that's the style that you're going for but this is a very loose painting so I just want to give a, a an impression but do a little bit more detail as I'm coming closer towards you and in this case in the yellow building there are bits of uh, detail uh, that I will be putting in and it has a darkened area that I'm putting in now and uh, this all helps give the impression that you are getting closer or farther away in Venice they have these um, jetties that uh, have wood sticking out of them so that can uh, attach the boats to them and you just add bits like that and it helps with the narrative and uh, I'm starting to get bits of detail in light detail in the building and uh, using that pinky red that we had earlier and uh, doing the dark areas as well uh, with the blue that we've used so again we're still using that set of colours that gives it a consistency I darken that area and certain parts of the behind the wall and uh, we'll, we'll keep strengthening that building in the foreground we've got some windows going in that's going to be quite dark as that's going into the building and you'll not get much light there so that's probably the darkest area of the building and continuing to get those dark areas uh, we've also got the last boat I, I weren't sure about putting this in but it clears up an area that's maybe not too interesting so as well it won't be Venice without one of those red and white poles so we're doing that and we're virtually done and that's it I think apart from little bits here and there ripples and we're done for a more exhaustive full length version of this over an hour long where I explain this a lot more thoroughly and in real time go to my link for this picture that I'm putting up and uh, you can watch the full video there but here we see the reference photo and the final finished painting uh, a nice loose painting that I've really enjoyed doing and it didn't use up too many colours and we've managed to be able to get a very colourful, loose, interesting painting. And I'll thank you and 
please subscribe. Thank you.